My name is Anthony Dempsey, and I was the president of the Clemson Rocket Engineering Team throughout the development of the rocket. See you later. Clemson Rocket Engineering is Clemson's largest aerospace organization with the mission to launch a rocket each year at the Spaceport America Cup competition out in New Mexico. Five, four, three, two, one. This competition is the largest rocketry competition in the world. In the 2022 Spaceport competition, our team placed extremely well, especially for a school that doesn't have an aerospace program. Building off the success, we decided to push the boundaries for what our team could achieve in the 2023 year. The mission operation for See You Later goes like this. See You Later will be loaded onto the launch pad and turned on. It will then await idle for motor ignition. Once safety checks are passed and we have a GPS lock on the rocket, an electrical signal is sent from the command tower to ignite the motor. Liftoff will proceed, with See You Later reaching a velocity of 636 miles per hour. See you later will then reach an altitude of approximately 10,000 feet. At this point, a small parachute will deploy to control the descent of the rocket. While descending, the nose cone of the rocket will extend outwards to deploy a payload. Once the payload has exited the rocket, the nose cone will then retract back in. When the rocket falls to 1,000 feet above the ground, a larger main parachute will release and guide the rocket slowly to the ground. Upon landing, the team will receive GPS coordinates and venture out into the desert to recover the rocket and the payload. The rocket as a whole is a collection of subsystems, and each of these subsystems plays an integral role in the rocket's success. With See You Later, we wanted to advance each subsystem as much as possible. Here's a brief overview of each of our subteams. We started off the year by allowing new members to build their very own rocket and launch it at a site in South Carolina. The event got everyone up to speed on rocketry knowledge and it gave immediate hands-on experience. In total, we launched 22 rockets. The members designed their own fins, nose cones, avionics bays, and payloads for each of their rockets. This event was a huge success and gave members an insight to what each of the sub-teams is all about. The avionics sub-team develops the electronic systems inside the rocket. These systems measure GPS location, altitude, velocity, environmental conditions such as pressure and temperature, and they start the cameras prior to flight. This year, in addition to commercial products, the team built two student research and design circuit boards. These systems allowed us to have two-way communication with the rocket, meaning we can send it commands via live telemetry from far away. To go along with this, the team began working on a command station which would automatically track the rocket in order to maintain this connection throughout the duration of the flight. The Flight Dynamics subteam designs the shape of and allots weight to the rocket. They then conduct simulation on these different design aspects using programs such as Open Rocket and ANSYS. Flight Dynamics also developed the shroud to protect the cameras on the exterior of the rocket while maintaining aerodynamic stability. The rocket team sponsors a number of internal research and design teams, and Active Aero is one of them. Active Aero is an air braking system designed to slow the rocket down. You may be asking, why would you want to slow the rocket down? Well, in the competition, we receive more points the closer we are to 10,000 feet. With this air brake system, we purposely overshoot the target of 10,000 feet, and the system deploys servo-actuated fins, which slow the rocket down. This process requires rigorous testing for a control system, and prior to the competition, we had a test flight for active aero. This test gave the team a good sense of what the competition was going to be like.
Payload team designs the scientific experiment that the rocket carries. This year, the rocket team worked closely with NASA Langley Research Center on our payload. NASA is conducting research with Close-In Covert Autonomous Disposable Aircrafts, or CICADAs, for planetary science missions. These drones are dropped as a swarm of robots from high altitudes, and they autonomously glide to a set waypoint on the ground. Cicadas may offer a new and improved way to collect data on the weather. Our team's goal was to build our very own version of the Cicada, designated the Clemson Rocket Innovative Cruising Kit for Environmental Testing, or CRICKET. These drones have similar capabilities as the Cicadas and would be deployed from the rocket at Apogee. The crickets are stored in a housing unit while the rocket is in flight. This housing unit is attached to a lead screw, linear rails, and a motor system. Shortly after the drogue parachute deploys, this motor turns on, extending the nose cone out of the airframe of the rocket. Once exposed to the atmosphere, a passive door mechanism would release the cricket and it would descend under parachute. The Cricket has a GPS on board and awaits retrieval. In addition to this, a complex, high-performance camera system was developed. Using GoPro Heroes, a servo arm would turn the cameras on right before launch, utilizing our avionics two-way communication system. This was to alleviate overheating and to save battery life and footage storage. <music> Lastly, the Structure subteam is in charge of manufacturing the airframe of the rocket. Our team makes our body tubes with fiberglass and our fins were constructed with carbon fiber. The fins themselves were cut out of carbon fiber plate using a water jet. This year, we really put an emphasis on designing the rocket around ease of assembly. Rather than relying on external screws to keep the rocket together, the rocket is mostly internally assembled. As a previous member of the structure subteam, I was able to gain extensive hands-on experience with all of the machines in our workshop. I started off knowing very little, and through my four years of experience in the club, I now have the confidence to lead teams. Giving the students the opportunity to work on advanced systems such as these leads to a growth of knowledge, and that's really what the mission of this team is all about. Regardless of how the launch goes, if each student learns an important lesson about engineering, then we've accomplished our mission. Cause I'm as free as a bird.